There are several abbreviations used in this video. Please note them here. The TAP block allows anesthesia of the lower thoracic nerves, T10 through T12, and the first lumbar nerve. Originally described in 2001, and in 2007, an ultrasound technique was first described. Gross anatomy. The nerves that supply the anterior abdominal wall travel in the fascial plane that exists between the transversus abdominis muscle and the internal oblique muscle. These are the nerves that supply somatic sensation to the abdominal wall. They are not involved with visceral sensation. Here is a gross dissection of the nerves in the transversus abdominis plane. This block can provide effective postoperative analgesia for hysterectomies, hernia surgery, and laparoscopic assisted procedures, as well as other procedures involving incisions below the umbilicus. The ultrasound anatomy. Muscles are mostly hypoechoic, meaning dark. Fascia is very hyperechoic appearing very white. The bowel has movement. Here is the ultrasound appearance. The first brown layer is the subcutaneous tissue. The turquoise layer is the external oblique. The purple layer is the internal oblique. The transversalis abdominis appears green. One can also appreciate the movement of the bowel deeper in the image. Equipment needed. A high frequency linear transducer. A 21 gauge 10 centimeter short B bevel needle local anesthetic of choice, and a sterile preparation including transducer cover. Patient positioning. Supine with the abdomen exposed. This can be done under general anesthesia. Arms should be abducted to allow access to the abdomen. Procedure steps. This should be done under aseptic conditions. First, find the costal margin and the iliac crest as reference points. Scan this region in between the axillary line to identify the fascial plane that exists between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. Technique continued. Use the in-plane needle insertion technique. Advance the needle from medial to lateral. Watch the needle as it enters the tap. Conduct a test injection with saline. Finish with 20 to 30 mLs of local anesthetic once the saline injection confirms correct needle location. Here is a cartoon demonstrating the appropriate needle insertion technique. Once again, the muscles are color coded. The needle is inserted between the transversus abdominis muscle and the internal oblique muscle. The needle is indicated in yellow. This image comes from a patient having a right colectomy. The plan was to perform a single injection right-sided tap block. The costal margin and the iliac crest are marked. The yellow box indicates the scan area where the tap should be identified. This image demonstrates the in-plane needle insertion technique for a right-sided tap block. Note that the needle is being inserted from the medial aspect of the patient towards the lateral aspect of the patient. The following videos demonstrate several examples of actual patient injections, both good injections and bad injections. Case 1, right-sided tap block for a right colectomy. Here we see the needle penetrating through the external oblique, internal oblique, and into the transversus abdominis plane. However, with an initial test injection of saline, it becomes evident that the needle is actually within the internal oblique muscle, as indicated here. The needle is then slightly advanced and enters the tap plane. A repeat test dose with saline confirms the correct location. Case 2 demonstrates both the needle arriving at the tap and the movement of the bowel. As the needle enters from screen right, notice the movement of the bowel at the bottom aspect of the screen. With the image frozen, one can see the distance between the tap and the bowel. 
This distance is approximately one centimeter. Case three demonstrates both the correct and the incorrect spread of local anesthetic. The correct image is seen on screen left and the incorrect on screen right. Case four. Usually when the needle enters the tap plane, there is a distinctive popping sensation. This is demonstrated here. And here is a repeat look. Because it is so important to identify incorrect spreads of local anesthetic, we are going to share another example with you of an incorrect injection of local anesthetic. You can see the local anesthetic is spreading between the external oblique and internal oblique muscles in this example. Now contrast this with the correct spread of local anesthetic in the same patient. We will repeat the injection four times. One, two, three, four. Two other blocks that you may be familiar with are actually very close to the tap block. The rectus sheath is easily seen when the transducer is moved medial. The ilioingual nerve actually lies in the tap plane when the transducer is moved caudad. Clinical pearls. The tap block, as described, will not provide analgesia for above the umbilicus. This block does not result in hemodynamic instability, in contrast to an epidural or spinal. You can perform a continuous tap block by leaving a catheter in running an infusion. This block is technically easy to perform. Summary. Scan the abdomen and the axillary line between the iliac crest and the costal margin. The injection occurs in the layer between the transversus abdominis and the internal oblique muscles. The block is effective for surgeries below the umbilicus.